resell this. Disclaimer, this is not a typical thrift haul video and was originally recorded on July 20th, 2020. The commentary is from November 29th, 2020. Enjoy. Hi guys, so today I went back to Guy's Frenchies, but instead of going to the one I went to last week, or Friday, I went to Shediac, actually, and I am not disappointed at all. I found a lot of brands that are on a lot of bolo lists of influencers or other um, really good resellers that I figured I'd give a try. Like, I'm always like, well, I keep their lists in the back of my mind, and then I have my own list of brands I like to look out for. There was my first mistake. Why was I paying attention to anybody else's bolo list? I needed to focus on myself. So I found a lot of these brands and I was like, you know what, this is a good opportunity for the price that I'm paying for these items to put them in my closet. So now let's get started. The well, first thing we have here is a Chico's blouse in a nice pink um, color. It has brand new with tags in a size three. This is still listed in my closet for $60. It has zero legs. So I will say this is a bad buy. Next item I have here is Crown and Ivy, and I have no idea what brand this is, but I could not pass up this top. It has this, okay, so from far away, it has like a very like high-end designer look to it. You know, the different pattern, like that's pattern-ish. But if you go in closer, they're little bees! <laughs> so this is an XL, and I just thought I had to have it. This one is still available in my closet for $30 with two likers. It's a bad buy another shirt from them so they this one retails for $59.50 and it is an adorable little tank like a baby doll tank type of deal it has embroidery a floral embroidery around it and has that scalloped edge this one is also an extra large you guessed it it's still available in my closet with zero likes it's a bad buy don't pick up this brand this one here is Rosin Alley. I don't know the brand really. There was a lot of Rosin Alley at this place, so it might not be that great of a brand. I don't know, but I really liked the watercolor kind of soft floral throughout this dress. And it has a bit of like a a flare or flutter at the bottom it's really nice lightweight it has a slip on the inside so the top overlay is sheer but it has a slip on the inside so it's not a sheer dress and it has little belts and this one here was a size 14. this one sold on november 1st in a bundle i don't think i'll pick up this brand again but i mean it was a dress in the middle of a pandemic so so this is an express romper in a velvet, like a maroon velvet. So it has this little choker neckline, deep V. You would never catch me in this. No, 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 not for me. <laughs> Long sleeves, so really cute for fall. It is from Express, size medium. Uh, manufacturer retail is $79.90. Here we are again with one that's still sitting in my closet and has only four likes, I don't think I'll ever pick up Express again. One of my bread and butter brands is Old Navy. It was my bread and butter brand. We do not pick up Old Navy ever. Never do I ever, ever, ever. So I found these Old Navy size 18 Capri cargo-ish, I guess, uh, in like an, a military green color. There it is, sitting in my closet with zero likes. This is probably the moment I realized I should stop picking up Old Navy. This one is a White House Black Market size 6 dress. So it has a beautiful embroidered rose pattern down the front. This one just sold on November 16th. I did originally have it listed at $80 and I accepted a $40 offer. This is another brand I have no idea. I think I've seen it in her story, or er, the Thrifty Historian for Story Thrifts uh, closet, this brand. So it's Kimchi Woo. And it's a very, like, nice little dress. Soft. It's 
satiny dress. Baby blue, kind of gives like an oriental feel to it. Cute little floral print throughout. Alright, it was a size large. This one just sold in my Name Your Price sale to Kristen at K-Style GTA, so she got it for what I paid for. This is the first time I've ever found a Madewell. Uh, well, okay, that's all. I found it last time I went to Frenchies, but it was just like a really basic top, and I was like, I'm not picking this up. But this one is a size large. It's a little peplum, I think. Yeah, a polka dot peplum black tee. This one just sold in my Name Your Price sale as well to Jessica at Mama Says Thrift for what I paid for. Alright, location change because my home is going to die. This isn't the most flattering angle, but it's what's going to do for this video. I'm sorry. This is the worst angle ever. Who thought this was a good idea? I could just charge my phone. This one here is a tall boat box t-shirt. Did I just see yellow? No, we're good. I like I I'm white will be the end of me. I absolutely can't stand pick up white, picking up white. And we have this really cute embroidery with the pink, black, blue, floral on the sleeves. It'd be really cute as a t-shirt. Probably could extend down to be like an off the shoulder top, depending on how you wear it. It is 100 percent cotton and it is a large. This is still available in my closet with a whopping zero likes. Yeah, I'm not picking up tall bots anymore. So I picked up this really retro looking short sleeve. Let's see if this fits. Close. It is. Really like the pattern on it, the look of it. And with the little cuffed sleeves. So probably a little too small for me. Okay, I'm gonna do this up. There's these really cute triangle buttons going triangle. Well, no, that's a lie. They're circle, but they're cute. They're purple and they're sparkly. I guess they're triangular this way. Anywho, really like the pattern in it. So it's got the little retro lines going through it, and it says it's a size 11, whatever that means, and it has the shoulder pads. And that's all we know about this. You guys, it's 80s vintage, and it's still sitting in my closet. Still. Allie would probably pick it up again. This top here is from Disney Parks. It's a large. It's really cute on the back. It's got this little ruffle, high-low hem, and then it's Mickey. In what I think is a bunch of flowers. Are those flowers? I don't know. It's sparkly. It's cute. And although my other Disney Parks item hasn't sold, I couldn't help but pick it up because it was brand new at the Hague, so it retailed for, sorry, it retailed for $32.95 in the States. 50-50 chance that you'll get this right. Yes, it's still sitting in my closet with zero likes. Yeah! And then I picked up this top here. And it says the future is female. It's a cute little graphic tee. And that one is in a size medium. Yep, it's still sitting in my closet with only two likes. I probably would only pick it up. It was in plus size at this point. It's really cute. Harley Davidson jeans. So I, I had to grab them. These ones. Oh, here we go. A size eight long. But I feel like that kind of just adds to the look of it. Yes, they're still sitting in my closet with a single like. I don't know that I'd ever pick up Harley Davidson jeans ever again. Grab something for sweater weather. We got this chap sweater in a size small. MSRP is 59. It's just a red sweater. I figure with a cable, it's like a cable knit look. I don't know what's that called, but whatever. It's got a pattern on the front. Even though sweater weather is upon us, this is still sitting in my closet with zero likes. This is another brand I've never seen nor picked up. It's Wild Fox. It is a part of their swim line. I guess you'd put this over top of something because this is see-through, honey. <laughs> but I figured, why not? 
got a message from Poshmark that says swimwear is doing hot and I'm like, really? Because mine's not selling. Yes, it's sitting in my closet with zero likes. Another vintage piece that I picked up. It's actually adorable. So it's called English Trifles, like you trifle in. Yeah. It has like a dolman sleeve. Really cute. It would be a crop on me, I guess. I really like the cute little floral pattern on it. I don't think it has a size, so I'm going to have to measure that out. This is sitting in my closet with one like. I don't regret it though, it's a cute piece. This here is another white item. I hate white clothes. Anyway, by Allie B, I don't know, but I really liked the item. I don't know, is this the size 8? But this is a really tiny 8. Like, mm hmm. Mm mm. So I don't know, maybe it is a child's brand. I don't know, it's got like a high low hem. And it's got the embroidery, so that's why we picked her up. Yes, this is a girl size 8. I lost money on this because I sold it at a yard sale. It's gone. I don't care. This is a Cynthia Rowley dress. I really thought it was a nice, funky color. The size small. It's a really, like, vintage-looking dress. I don't, I it wouldn't say it is vintage. Anyways, it's got a retro-looking um, disco theme to it and nice long maxi dress it has a belt it says size mm, couldn't be my video if i don't drop the item it says size small this one i also sold to jessica at mama says thrift through my name your price sale so she paid what i paid this one here it is an anthropology label because i just like scored the anthropology website just the other day so i I saw this one. There was nothing too amazing about it. It's just a blue dress. Probably hit you about knee length. It's very difficult to hold up right now. Um, the, the, okay, hold on. The belt or whatever, it's in the front and then it like wraps around, so it's a little weird. But yeah, it's just it's just a blue dress, just a typical blue dress with some cap sleeves. There we go. Got your cap sleeves, and then it's belted in the front. It might look like an older style, I guess, but I mean, it's a summery, flowy summer dress. I this one's still sitting in my closet with zero likes. I won't be picking up stick here ever again. I wonder if my anthro attic friend will catch my little mess up there. This is a band of gypsies jumpsuit. Really cute floral. I've already looked up some comps on it on the drive home because Shediac is not next door. And they retail, or not retail, sorry, they resell for anywhere between $30 to $60. Really like this one. It has like a little bit of a corset look to it. It has a built-in bra. And it is a size medium. This darling piece sold for $35 on August 14th. So I would say it was a pretty good flip. Here is another Cynthia Rowley piece. It is like basic, yeah, okay. I was like, oh my goodness, is it an inside out type of thing? Like you can wear it both ways, but no, you can't. Brand new with tags. It says it compares at $42. It retails for $24.99. It's nothing amazing, but it's nothing boring either. It's a basic nude color, knee length dress. And did I say the size? In a size large. Darling, this is still sitting in my closet with zero likes. I don't know what I was thinking. Here is a Love on a Hanger, size small. I've never heard of this brand, but it had a very bright embroidery on the front, so I couldn't say no to that one. Yeah, it's still in my closet, and yeah, it doesn't have any likes. I wouldn't pick up this brand ever again. This that I have is an Athleta dress. I'm not sure if it's outdated. It's patterned. It's in really good condition. Athleta. Athleta. Size large. So figured... This one sold within two days of listing for $40. It was a good buy and it got me hooked on Athleta. 
here is a brand new with tags. Free people tunic. It says intimately free people in a size medium. It had a Marcus tag on it, but I'll just take that one off. It's got its actual tag on it. There. This one sold on September 1st for $50. It's a bit of a plain Jane piece, but that new with tags really got the buyer. And this one here is also free, people. It is a Reba Free size small. Ooh, made in Peru. Tank top. It has, this is the front, so it has this pattern. And last but not least, I found Torrid again. So I got a Torrid Peplum with a zipper down the front, sweetheart neckline, you got the lace in the back, and a size 2. And so that was it for my haul. Alright, so this is the end of my video. Um, you're getting a black screen. But if you enjoyed your video, enjoyed the experience, hit the like button, hit the subscribe if you haven't already, hit the notification bell so you can be the first one here, and check out a couple of my videos if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time.